Hello Gemini, welcome to Terra So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for uh, Monday, June 29, 2020 to Sunday, July 5th, 2020. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit to see what you need to know. Let's find out what you need to know for that time period. What does Gemini need to know? What do you need to know, Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Oh. A lot of nervous energy. First card, Seven of Cups. Second card is the King of Wands. Third card is the Four of Swords. Fourth card is the Six of Pentacles. Bottom card is your card, the Lovers. Looking at the cards that were beneath the bottom card, because that's what I'm doing, it seems, for this week. Diving deeper into the cards. So this is the Page of Swords, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Or do I go? Hmm. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. I think they may be part of your reading. We'll see. Doing it a little different just because, just because I feel like it. Something tells me to do it, so I'm doing it. All right, let me have a look at your cards for a second. You have one major, well, you have two major guys, actually. You have the Hierophant and the Lovers, so they're important to your reading. So those two together suggest to me that there's a strong connection. You feel committed to someone or someone feels committed to you. You both do. It's mutual. It's a mutual thing. Somehow, this connection is meant to be. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's the one, is what I'm getting. Okay, so, I feel like um, I feel like maybe you've enjoyed having options here with these two cards Seven of Cups Nine of Pentacles you've been pretty satisfied and happy having options being single maybe dating uh, just enjoying your freedom and having what you need around you no commitments
but um, something seems to have changed here. The Hierophant is a number five. Five is the number of change. I feel like you've had a change, change of heart. You have a decision to make here with the lovers. It seems like someone um, stands out from the crowd. You made some kind of connection and something clicked within you. Um, you may have had your eye on someone and not have acted on it. Or maybe you didn't see it at the time because you were too distracted by all the options in your life, all the distractions in your world, whatever that would be, whether it's other people or just, you know, your goals, your activities, whatever. Maybe you didn't, uh, you didn't really see it back then. You were in a state of illusion uh, in the, and enjoying it too. You know, you, you enjoyed being there. You were there willingly. She's not escaping or going anywhere. She's sitting there and just, it's almost like being stuck in it without realizing that you are stuck in there. So, so I feel like something happened. Um, this did come up in the reverse, the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like um, something happened with this connection because it was out of balance. One person was giving more than the other, so who was it? So one of you was giving more than the other. Whoever was giving too much um, decided that they weren't doing that anymore. They know their value, they know their worth. Look at her. She knows what she wants, she knows what she deserves, and there's a scale here. So she wants what's fair. So something um, something happened here, something must have ended, because the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, the card of heartache. Maybe it was with the Fire Sun, because we have the King of Wands here. Um, I feel like these two are the same person. Now this King of Wands, this is air and fire combined. I feel like this person, it doesn't have to be fire sign, you know, it could be the energy. This person embodies those energies. You or them, whoever, flip it the way you want. But um, King of Wands, this is someone who, uh, you know, they've reached the peak of maturity. So this person may have not understood their value in the past, but at some point they did. Um they're a very passionate person. This person is very passionate, very creative, a go-getter. They, uh, when they want something, they go for it. They'll do whatever it takes. Um, so maybe this person um, wanted this connection and they, they would do anything for it. But the problem is they ended up giving more than they received. Maybe they weren't appreciated. Maybe what they gave wasn't appreciated. So they had some kind of awakening and they matured and they realized, like the uh, King of Wands, they uh, understood their value. They used their head, their logic a little more and not just going by their passion from their heart. Um, they, uh, they were able to gain strength and understand um, the situation. They came out of this illusion here. 
they saw things for what they were so they went into retreat to heal themselves so they may have been in this state for a while because there's cobwebs around this person they've had a lot of time to reflect and think about what happened what transpired and maybe their their part in this situation so now Gemini here you are the lovers you have a choice to make you're seeing this person maybe now you're seeing their value where they're seeing your value or you see the value in each other things are starting to balance out if nowhere else but in your mind at this point so um, the page of swords is that you've been checking this person out you've watched them change where they've watched you change this is the card of research searching on the internet you know checking out somebody's uh, social media asking friends about the other person you know whatever um, this is doing the research looking into things so what happened what seems to have happened since then is that um, one of you has started to develop feelings for this person is you see their value and their worth now. You see that you can have total fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. You could even see um, potentially becoming committed to this person in the long run. Um, especially when we have these cards. So that's, um, that's a pretty nice reading. It looks like something that went wrong uh, helped one or both of you to, to learn lessons and to mature in your outlook on relationships. Um, so... If this is your story, then the only thing left to do is to communicate it, to express what you're feeling here. Because I feel a little hesitation in this card. She's wanting something that, she, that she's feeling in her heart, but she's pulled back a little bit too. A little bit nervous, perhaps. The thing to do in that case is just to take small steps towards what you want who you want and uh, if it's meant to be and you're both on the same page then things will just progress naturally so um, that's what I'm getting with your reading uh, Gemini so I hope that uh, you enjoyed that I hope that it made sense to you um, yeah leave me your comments give me a like share subscribe if it's not your story, and even if it is, look at your moon rising in Venus for added information. So uh, I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you for the following read. Bye for now.